In our previous examples, you'll notice that we always were able to get an answer. There was always one y value that the function was approaching from both sides, from the left and from the right. But sometimes there is not a limit. So the, at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to determine when a, less, a limit does not exist. When does a limit not exist? Let's answer that question. First of all, when the function equals two different values as it approaches C from the left and the right. So as we were doing those examples before, we kept getting the same Y value. So if we got two different Y values, then the limit would not exist. And then the other place is if a function oscillates between two fixed values as x approaches c, maybe it just keeps wobbling up and down, then the limit would not exist. So let's just look at a few examples to find limits that do not exist. All right, if you look at example four, it says to find the limit if it exists. The first thing that we wanna do, we are notice that we're going to be approaching three in this case, and there is already a graph. So we would like to look as I'm coming in from the left what y value is the function approaching? And you'll notice, although there's a hole happening at four, it is getting closer to, closer to a y value of four. And then when I'm coming in from the right and I'm looking at what y value I'm getting closer to, again, I'm getting close to a y value of four. So since I am approaching the same number from both sides, the limit of this problem will be four. It actually does exist. The reason that I put this example on this page is because we do have something else happening at x equals 3. We really don't care about that. We only care about what's happening as I'm getting closer to, to x equals 3. So just wanted to show you that example. Okay, now let's look as x approaches 2. If I'm looking at the left side as I'm coming in from the left, you'll notice that I'm headed down towards negative infinity. And if I'm coming towards from the right, I'm headed to a y value of positive infinity. Positive infinity definitely does not equal negative infinity, so I'm approaching two different y values. So this function, we would just say, does not exist. A lot of times you'll see me abbreviate it as DNE, does not exist. And then we could say because the limit from the left does not equal the limit from the right. Notice the limit didn't equal zero because zero is the average of those two. It just, two different values does not exist. All right, let's take a look at an example. Um, this one is finding the limit as x approaches four. We're going to find it both numerically and graphically. So let's go ahead to our graphing calculator and get it set up. All right, we're at our calculator now, and we're going to go ahead and type in the absolute value of x minus 4 divided by the quantity x minus 4. The first thing that I need to do is find absolute value, which again was in math number, and we'll just pick absolute value. And then we just need an absolute value, the x minus 4, so I'll put x minus 4. Four, close your parentheses, so that was the whole numerator, and then we'll divide by the denominator, and we again have to put that denominator in parentheses, so put it x minus 4, and then we'll go ahead and go to table, because it did say to find it numerically first, and when I do this, I'm just thinking we need to go back to the other screen, because I don't think we filled in the values, so we need to do that real quick. Okay, when I go to fill in the values, I know I'm approaching 4, so again, I'm going to put 4 in the middle. And then um, getting really close to 4 from the left side, I could put 3.999. A little further away would be 3.99. And then a little bit further away would be 3.9. Going the other way, really close to 4 would be 4.001. And then a little farther away would be 4.01. And then a little farther than that would be 4.1. So now we have our table set up, so now we can go back to the calculator. Okay, in the table, let's go ahead and plug in the values that we just figured out. We're going to do 3.9, 3.99, and 3.999. Okay, then we'll do 4.001. Four point zero one and four point one. So you can take a look at the y values. Whoops, let's press enter one more time. You can look at the y values that we got. So going back to my example, when I go to fill in the chart, um, I get negative one, negative one, negative one, and then one, one, one. Okay, if I look at my y values as I'm approaching a value of x equals four from the left, my y value is always one. It's just, that's all it's getting close to. It's not turning into anything else. As I'm approaching 
from the left, my y values are all negative 1, and they're not ever not going to be negative 1. So if you look at these two, I am getting two different answers from the left and from the right. So this limit does not exist. We don't take the average of them again. We'll just, they do not equal each other, so the limit does not exist. We're not getting the same number each way. Okay, if we look at it graphically, let's go back to our calculator. On your calculator, if you'll notice, if we go ahead and press graph, I am going to zoom back out as soon as I'm done with this. And remember to zoom back out, we can just do zoom, six. And then you'll notice I have a straight line across at negative one up until I get to four. And then after four, I have a straight line across at one. So if I go to graph that on my notes, I have a straight line down at negative one. And then after four, I've got a straight line across at 4. And I'm going to put open circles at 4 because if you tried to plug 4 into this function, you would get an undefined answer. So there's actually nothing happening at 4. But you'll notice as I'm coming in from the left, my y value is just a constant negative 1. And as I'm coming in from the right, I've got a constant y value of positive 1. Since those two do not equal each other, the limit does not exist.